So start with your name and then just spell it for me, please. I'm Brian Rudolph. My name is, wait, what am I saying? Just spelling it? Yeah. I'm Brian Rudolph, B-R-I-A-N-R-U-D-O-L-P-H. And then what would be your title? Uh, I am the founder of Bonza, co-founder of Bonza, I should probably say. Yeah, okay. that's right. Can you make your Bonza get your t-shirt? Straighten it? Yeah, just like that. I think the wire might be doing that. Yeah, okay. There you go. Just because you've got too much Stand muscles. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Rough life. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay. Do you want me to still spell it again, or was no, that just for audio testing? That's just so I get your spelling right when I title you. Okay. Cool. So you can just look at me. We're just going to ask some questions. So we're just going to just like, you can stop, start, do whatever cool. you might need to do. So let's just do something really easy. So Brian, why did you get involved with buns of beans? Tell me the story of buns of beans. Yeah. Um, from the beginning, let's see. I have to figure out where to start. Um, within the context of this, I guess you can cut it out. So I'll just start talking yeah. and then yeah. we'll figure out. Yeah. All right. Um, so I, I joined a program out of school called Venture for America. The goal is to help create jobs in underserved cities like Detroit. And uh, when, I, when I came here, I knew I wanted to start a company. And uh, at some point it hit me that there's this really amazing opportunity in food. And I love food. Uh, I always thought it was something that would always be a passion for me. And with, uh, with this product, I realized there's not only a huge opportunity to explore my passion, but also have an impact on the world in a greater and, and positive way. Perfect. Okay. So why chickpeas? Why, how did, how did Banza come into your brain one day? Uh, chickpeas are in many ways the perfect food. Uh, there are very few foods that are both nutritious and delicious and also affordable. And to get all three of those in one is pretty incredible. It also ends up looking just like wheat, rice, or corn and has the right color. So it has a lot of the characteristics that give it the potential to actually change a category. Uh, so because it's so high in protein, it has less carbohydrates than wheat, uh, because it's environmentally friendly, because uh, it actually is nearly on par in a cost perspective to wheat and to rice. It's, it's something that, that isn't expensive to grow. Uh, it actually has the potential uh, from the beginning to, uh, to replace those, those common ingredients like wheat, rice, and corn. So what, why, what about, how did you get involved with chickpeas? What was the moment in time that you said a chickpea is going to be my, my fame and fortune? Uh, yeah. So I, I, I love chickpeas. Uh, I eat a ton of hummus. I, I was going through a two pound tub of hummus every week before starting to do this. If you think about it, that's a lot. That's like this much hummus. Um, and <laughs> realized that uh, I didn't have to just get my chickpeas through hummus um, and uh, started making other things out of chickpeas. I was making breads, I was making um, flat breads and, and all, all kinds of pancakes, high protein pancakes. But then I made this pasta and was actually able to convince my roommate that it, it was regular pasta. He didn't even know that it was made from another ingredient. Uh, and so again, all of those things combining to, to really show that um, this has the potential to change the pasta category. So how did you start the business in the sense of finding production? So you come up with this crazy idea that you mm -hmm. love you know, uh, beans and this is the, the way that you want to start a business. How did you really wake up one morning and sort of launch the business? What was the mission behind sort of finding all the pieces that you needed? So I started making this in my kitchen originally, uh, then realized I wanted to get it out there on a larger scale. So I did a crowdfunding campaign. And in that crowdfunding campaign, we actually got found by a reality TV show. Uh, it was a lot like Shark Tank. It was called Restaurant Startup. And through that, we realized that uh, there was real demand for the product. The, the show went really well. And then uh, while we were still really not at scale yet, um, Meyer actually discovered our product and uh, was the first store out of any to carry our product. So before we had even entered a store, we had suddenly sold to 215 stores. And uh, so it's probably an abnormal way of ramping up, but then we had to find a way to manufacture it at scale. And so I was able to get in touch with the product center uh, as I was looking for a place to manufacture our product. and. Uh, that was ultimately how we found our uh, our manufacturing plant, 
was was through the product center through a referral and uh, it initiated the conversation and, and uh, Micah was fantastic to be uh, to be helpful in that conversation and uh, it's it's really just taken off from there and what, what would you say has been the hardest thing to achieve in starting up this venture what's the thing that's been just the biggest nightmare for you hmm well, right now, the hardest thing is actually just keeping up with demand, which of all problems isn't the, you know, uh, uh, it, it's a good problem to have to be trying to keep up with demand. Um, but we have some incredible retailers that want to carry our product. And um, because of our capacity right now, we are, are fighting that challenge. And uh, you know, we've, we've put a few big opportunities on hold, actually. Uh, and we're, we're ramping up. We're currently in the process of increasing our capacity so that we can fulfill orders like that. Um, but that's, that's our biggest challenge at the moment. Um, of course, there's always the challenge of building awareness. You know, there are still a ton of people who haven't heard of Bonza. I'm sure most of the people seeing this video haven't heard of Bonza. Uh, so there's that as well. And we're always out there. We're doing demos. We do Eastern Market every Saturday. We're, we're doing everything we can to connect with the consumer so that they know that this product is out there, that it's a better version of pasta, and that it's what they should be eating. Tell me a little bit about the, your team that you work with. I mean, are you a one-man band or is there a, a group of people oh God, behind you? Yeah. Um, yes, far from uh, a one-man band. We're, we're a team of seven um, and we would not be nearly as successful if it weren't for the people on our team. Uh, started the business with my brother. He originally worked in private equity. Uh, so he brings to the table an incredible amount of experience from a unit economics standpoint making sure that when we make decisions, they make financial sense. Um, we also have, have grown at our team. Uh, we've hired a few people from Venture for America, the same program that I did. People straight out of school who are incredibly hungry and willing to learn. And uh, we've thrown them into the fire and they've figured out how to do some incredible things, whether it's account management or, or uh, our, our growing social media presence. A lot of that has come from people who have never really had a job before, but they came through Venture for America and they've just taken it on. Uh, and then we, we also have someone on our team named Chris, uh, who previously worked in investment banking. And uh, he is an incredibly organized person and uh, he puts structure to things and processes in place that uh, is in many ways, I think the reason why we continue to be able to make this product at such a large scale is because of the, the things that he does. So um, we're a pretty well-rounded team. We, we, uh, I think we really benefit from the fact that we have some people who are thinking very creatively, people who are thinking very process oriented, but we all do a little bit of everything. Uh, and so it works out. So if you were to give me your best shot at a marketing person now, how would your advert look like for buns of beans? So like, give me your, give me your 30 second spiel on, on buns of beans. On, on what it is. Tell me, you can say whatever it is, but you could, I'm now sitting in front of you with a big check and I'm sure. going to write that check depending on whether you can sell it to me or not. So sure. tell me, give me your 30 second pitch on. On the I product or our company? The product. Sure. Um, so this is, this is the next generation of pasta. Uh, if you look at it, it looks, it cooks just like regular pasta, but it has double the protein and half the net carbs. So if you're going to eat a pasta, there's really no reason why you wouldn't eat this. That's really what we've stood by since the beginning. And it's what we continue to stand by today is, um, again, it's, it's the perfect pasta. There's just, there's just no reason not to eat it. Sound good? Sound good. So just, cool. and then just quickly again, just, so just, and again, in a, in a sort of a can sort of a moment, just tell me a little bit about what the product center is. I know that you said that they've helped you with finding a manufacturing places, which yep. is Glees up north. What mm -hmm. other things, is, what, what have you done for him, Micah? Uh, I, mean, I think that was the main thing. That was, that was big. Because, you know, when we met, it was just... Uh... It's, it's consistently providing resources, though. So can we talk about that? Yep. So, to, so I think that's one of the things we really like to sort of get across yep. to, to our clients is that sure. the product center, yes, it can find solutions, but it's a place that you can go to at any moment and just sort of say hi or, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm lost or whatever. Yeah, so I just again, you know, like just talk a little bit about what the product center's done for you in manufacturing, but just maybe it's just a place that you can go and Mike has just been able to have, it's just another person to bounce things off. Yeah. So just talk a little bit about that. Uh, so the product center has been, start off with the yeah. product center has done for me, whatever. Mm -hmm. 
The product center has been an incredible resource for us. Uh, all right. Um, this is where the lies start. Yeah. Where <laughs> your nose grows and your <laughs> Pinocchio comes out. It does. It does feel. It feels a little bit canned, but well, that's um, okay. yeah, it no, it is. It, it is. It is genuine. So good. Um, the product center has been an incredible resource for us. Everything from you know when we initially found our manufacturing plant to when we have questions about what to do next, whether it's shelf life testing or just finding a resource that we know exists in Michigan, but we might not know the direct person to reach out to. We know that the product center is there to connect us with their contacts that they've already been working with. So we can keep as much as we possibly can within the state of Michigan and find the people that are best to possibly, are the best possible people to work with. Okay. Does that work? That's fine, that's fine. And then the last question is that we're just gonna ask you to say, my name is Brian Banza uh, and I'm from Banza Pasta. And I'm delighted to accept on behalf of the MSU Product Center Entrepreneur of the Year Award. <clears throat> All right. I don't know what the word is. Is it entrepreneur? Oh, entrepreneur. Okay. So, right. so, you know, and it's All straight right. at the camera. So my name is Brian Banzer. Brian Rudolph. <laughs> Brian Rudolph of Banzer. <laughs> Give me an identity, damn it. <laughs> um, and I'm delighted to accept the, the Entrepreneur of the Year Award on behalf of the MSU Product Center. All right. You can do as many times as you like. Yeah, I'll probably take like That's five. That's fine. Yeah. My name is Brian Rudolph. I'm incredibly grateful to be accepting the Entrepreneur of the Year of the Award from the MSU Product Center. I'll probably do that again because I think I Hello. lost it. I'm Brian Rudolph with Bonza. Okay. Yep. Make sure you get your product in there. All right. My name is Brian Rudolph with Bonza, and I'm incredibly grateful to be accepting the award for Entrepreneur of the Year from the MSU Product Center. All right. Excellent. That's good. Cool. I got one question. Oh, yeah. Okay. And, and you can look at Matt when you when you answer. What puts a smile on your face every day when you come to work and you're you're working on this product? Yeah. And look at Matt when you answer. But what puts a smile on your face every day? Yeah. Uh, the you same thing. You and your questions. Yeah. Um. Well, there are a few things, and I'm trying to figure out if there's the one thing, but. You can, a couple of things. What, what, what things put a smile on your face when you come to work? Um, I, I think there's something incredible about the fact that when people are eating our product instead of pasta, um, we know that they're making their lives just a little bit better. You know, they're, they're not eating a, 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 a crappy high glycemic product that's going to spike their blood sugar and then they're going to feel not very good. Uh, when, when they eat our product, uh, we know that you know it, it actually does help support healthy cholesterol levels, and uh, there's a lot of fiber in there. There's a lot of protein. They're going to be fuller faster, and so we could actually help with with that issue of overeating. Um, the average pasta portion size is five times what it should be. So if people eat this instead and they're actually full, uh, that brings a smile to my face because I know that overeating, uh, people being overweight in this country, is a massive problem. And if we can be that solution uh, in, in some form or manner, in a small way, uh, we're, we're serving a greater purpose. That work? That works. Excellent space back there. Okay, just start with your name and then spell it for me, please. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Mike Alaux, M-I-C-A-H-L-O-U-C-K-S. And your title? Um, innovation counselor. Okay. And then you can just look at Matt when you answer. So Michael, just tell us a little bit about what have you really enjoyed in working with Brian on this project? Um, I think what I've enjoyed working um, with Brian the most on is just kind of giving them a little bit of guidance and then watching them turn that into much more um, than I could have imagined and I'd, I'm guessing maybe them as well. Um, just to see them go from a small startup uh, a year and a half ago to um, being on a large uh, network TV show to um, being in Meyer and, and looking at much bigger uh, opportunities now in the future. So is Brian a real pain in the ass or has he been a nice guy to work with? Uh, Brian and uh, the Bonza staff have been great to work with. Um, always very intuitive and wanting to learn more uh, as much as they can um, and then really apply the knowledge that they've learned. And what was the single biggest thing that you think you did for them? Um, I think providing Bonza with the um, a manufacturer 
um, that they could work with to really allow them to expand and grow their business the way they wanted to. And does it put a smile on your face when you see bands of beans on the shelf? Do you look for it when you go into a supermarket? I do, and I love, I love, I, I look for bonds when I go into the supermarket as well as, you know, I love seeing them at, uh, at Easter Market here in Detroit every Saturday and uh, just seeing how much they're um, interacting with clients uh, and Brian's still out there. So 